many of you are hearing these things that resonate with your souls. And many of you feel the resonation with yourself, don't you, quite, quite a lot. But, but the key in making it your own is actually now putting it into action and actually letting the truth not only be absorbed into your mind, but as John said, develop from your mind the, the action upon these truths and start, and start basing your life around these truths. And when you start basing your life around the truths, you, what happens is you start getting proof from the external, from the external that these truths are real. And once you start getting this proof, the proof enters your heart or enters your soul. And once that proof enters your soul, now you're in a state of true confidence, or what he called in that message, faith, that everything is going to work exactly as you've now experienced it, because you've actually began to experience the truth in your life. So this is the, this is the issue that we face often, is that we often hear these truths, they resonate with us while we're hearing them. But we fail to practice them in our day-to-day -day life, and so we'll never ever really believe them in our heart. They'll never change our soul unless we actually put them into practice. Does that make sense to everyone? And so you'll find in your day-to-day -day process, once you put these truths into practice in your life, you'll see your life begin changing. And as your life begins changing, you will be proven, it will be proven to you that it's all real. So that, that'll then make sense to you, wouldn't it? If, if, if it's all proven to you that it's real, now you'll have some really deep confidence in what's going on. And you'll have some really deep faith and you'll really feel it quite strongly. Does that make sense to everyone? Like, so that's something that, if you can practice that in your day-to-day -day life. So, for instance, um, you remember some time ago we had a discussion called Qualities of Truth. Remember that? And one of the things we said in the Qualities of Truth discussion was that um, truth is never afraid, or there's no fear in truth. Now what I mean by that is that uh, if we're afraid, then we're already in error. So if you feel your fear in your day-to-day -day life, the key then is to actually say, all right, I'm feeling some fear, so I'm automatically in error. Now what is the truth that I need to absorb in this situation? You know, and we, we can ask ourselves, and that can help us connect to the fear that we feel, release that fear, go even deeper into the beliefs that we have that the soul needs to release so that we no longer have that fear. And then the truth will be a part of our heart, not just a part of our head. So at the moment, for many of us, the truth is here, and we're pondering over it, and it's starting to bubble up in the soul, I suppose you could say, it's starting to affect the soul. The key is now for you to activate that process in a knowing way and really get started in making sure that truth now enters your heart. And you, the way that happens is by you actually putting it into practice in your daily life and seeing whether it's true or not. That's how it happens. And that's what we're basically suggesting to you.